There are approximately 90 species of whales, dolphins and porpoises currently identified across the Earth's oceans and they're split into two main groups, the toothed whales and dolphins and the filter feeders, the baleen whales. The toothed whales and dolphins include things like the, the huge sperm whale, which most people are familiar with. The baleen whales include animals such as the blue whale, the fin whale, the humpback. And they have a very specialised mechanism for feeding. These plates of baleen that grow from the upper jaw, hundreds of them, that they use for filtering their food from their seawater. This object is actually a single plate of baleen from a blue whale and it's very characteristic of all whale baleen. It's blade shaped, so broader at the base and comes to a point at the tip. What we have here is a piece that's made from a very simple protein, keratinous protein, which is exactly the same as our hair and fingernails. But interestingly, it shows on the surface these ridges, which are actually growth increments. And the section that's nearest to my body is actually the more recent material, the gum line effectively. And at the tip of the blade, we're looking at material that's formed over the period of about 10 years, had a, a great range of uses, economic uses, was used extensively in ways that plastics were later used, but could be found um, as decorative inlay in furniture and also used widely in fashion. This is the, the skeleton, the remnants of uh, an umbrella which have been formed from sections of baleen and actually I've never seen anything like this before it's quite remarkable but it does show you just how versatile the material is how it can be shaped and molded and also how well it can actually um, survive given the right conditions it shows you quite nicely when you compare it to the complete plate of baleen here the color and the length these strips of material would have been taken from a, a plate about this size quite a remarkable thing This beautiful object is actually a walking stick, a walking cane that's been produced by the men that went out on the long whaling voyages of the 18th, 19th and into the 20th centuries. To pass the time they would use the teeth of the sperm whale in this case to form these beautifully carved handles and this long section, this single section of bone is actually taken from the lower jaw of the sperm whale. This very characteristic kind of speckled surface is actually, they're the remnants of where the blood vessels pass through the bone but these were made purely for pleasure and sold maybe for a few pennies when they came back into port. <laughs>